This short video is going to run through the basic operation of a bridge rectifier which is used in every modern um, electric welder. The basic purpose of a bridge rectifier is to convert an AC current into a DC current. Now inside of every electric welder is this component here. Usually called a bridge rectifier, it is sometimes also called a Wheatstone bridge. The purpose of this component is twofold. Its first purpose is to increase the current to a point that will allow the formation of an electric arc, but this is not enough on its own. The second thing we then need to do is we need to convert this AC current into a DC current, which is what will actually form the electric arc. This is accomplished in three basic stages. In step one, the transformer uh, decreases the voltage while at the same time increasing the current. Because the voltage is being stepped down, this is known as a step down transformer. We will look at this uh, in a little bit more detail shortly. The second step then is the bridge rectifier itself. This takes an AC current and converts it into a DC current. Uh, we will be investigating how this works in our video here. And then the third and final stage is by using a DC, uh, using a capacitor, we are able to smooth out our voltage until our voltage and current are at a very usable level. Now, while this video mainly deals with the bridge rectifier as is used in a welder, this is the basic process for all transformers, whether it is a welder or uh, the charger used in your mobile phone. So, the first stage is where the transformer increases the current. A, a transformers are described by what they do to the voltage. So a step down transformer reduces the voltage while at the same time increasing the current. Um, it is the current which forms the arc that we are using for welding. Now, the big problem we have is that AC current switches from positive to negative constantly. In Ireland, we run at 220 volts and at 50 hertz. What this means is, is that our voltage is constantly flipping between plus 220 volts and minus 220 volts 50 times every second. The bridge rectifier initially takes this voltage and prevents it from going from positive to negative by keeping it at positive all the time. But we still have a problem. It's climbing up to 220 volts, goes back down to zero volts, and then goes back up to 220 volts again. So that's where the third stage comes in. The capacitor smooths out this voltage jump until you get a single line which gives us a DC voltage. Now, quick word about the transformer. Transformers are based on the physics principle of electromagnetism and electromagnetism simply says that a changing current moving through a coil of wire generates a magnetic field. Now the reverse is also true, a changing magnetic field moving through a coil of wire creates an electric current in that coil of wire. This principle is the basis of every transformer, motor and generator that we use today. The strength of the magnetic field and as a result the strength of the current varies depending on the number of coils that are present. The more coils you have, the stronger the magnetic field is generated and conversely the more um, current can be generated. If we take this example here on our sheet, let's say for example I had 20 coils on the left hand side and I only had 10 coils on the right hand side. The electricity here flowing through the coil generates a magnetic field. That magnetic field travels through the metal core creating a magnetic field on the other side. That magnetic field on the other side therefore generates a voltage and a current. Because the right hand side has half the number of coils, the voltage on this side is half what the voltage on the left side is. The current however has been increased. Now, this slide here shows us just a static diagram of how a Wheatstone bridge works in principle. You'll notice in the top diagram here, the voltage at the top here is positive and down here is negative. On the second one, they have been reversed. However, the output remains positive, negative, positive, negative. 
Without the capacitor, we just have positive all the time. Now, brief explanation. When the current flow is positive, that is, when we have a positive voltage on the top here and a negative voltage down here, the first thing that happens is our transformer steps down the voltage and steps up the current. Now, the current flows through the wire until it gets to this point here on the bridge rectifier, where we have two diodes, D4 and D1. Now, a diode is like a one-way valve, so electricity cannot flow backwards through a diode, so our electric current here flows through diode 1 and flows out to the output, giving us our positive voltage on the top here. Now, the negative current coming back flows back into the diode at this point here, flows down through diode 3, and flows back into the transformer, thereby completing the um, current flow and completing the circuit. Now, when we have a negative current flow, it is reversed. Our positive is now down at the bottom, our negative is up at the top. So, we have our current flow out, again, into the bridge rectifier, and again, there are two diodes it can choose to go through. It cannot go through D3, so it must flow through D2, and we still have our positive outflow, out, outflow at the top. Again, our current flows back into the rectifier. This time, however, it goes up to the top, flows back into the transformer, thereby completing the circuit. Now, this takes place 50 times every second. Now, you'll notice I haven't mentioned the capacitor yet, so let's have a quick discussion now about what the capacitor actually does. So, the way a capacitor works is as an electric current flows to the capacitor, the capacitor starts to charge up and holds on to an electric car charge. So, as our current and voltage increases, the capacitor is charging up until it reaches that point there where the capacitor is fully charged. Now, as the voltage drops down, the capacitor slowly releases its charge until the next rise meets the capacitor and tops up and recharges the capacitor back up to maximum again. This results in a smoothing out of our voltage and a smoothing out of our current, giving us, on average, a straight line of voltage. Now, the last sheet here is if you were asked in an exam explain how a bridge rectifier works this sheet here is basically answering that the first two diagrams there show you how the electricity flows through the bridge rectifier when it's a positive flow when it's a negative flow and then the bottom one there just as a diagram explaining how the capacitor um, smooths out the voltage um, i hope this makes a bit more sense to you